I've downloaded and modified and added a few things using this Dungeon Floor Traps. It's a free asset by False Wisp Studios. I'm going to unpack it in my Unity project. You can download everything in the links below. And if I go into the folder, I've added this prefab called Spike Trap. I'm going to put it into the scene. Let me put it on the floor. Okay. Now what I want to do is shoot or retract these spikes whenever the player is on top of the trap. Let me create a folder. Spike scripts. I'm going to create a new c -sharp script. I'll call it trap spikes. Go in there. I'll start with the usual namespace, round bear games. Okay, start clean. First, let's get all the players that are in contact with the trap. I'm going to create a list of character control, list of characters. In the start, I'm going to say clear the list. We're going to start adding players to the list when we have on trigger enter or remove the players on trigger exit. So first, whenever something comes in contact, get the character control. If character control is not null, we take a look at the list. If the list does not contain the character, then we're going to add it to the list. So if it doesn't contain it, we add the character. And on exit, we do the opposite. If it does contain it, we're going to remove the player from the list. Save and go back to Unity. And on the trap, we need to add the collider for the trigger. I'm going to add a box collider. Check is trigger. And it also needs a rigid body. And I'm going to adjust the colliders. Okay, and from the top, I want the spikes to come up when the player is somewhere around the middle. So let me decrease the size of the square. Maybe 0 0.6 on the X. Again, 0 0.6 on the Z. Okay, that's about middle. We're also not going to use gravity for this. I'm going to add the trap spikes script. Go in there. And let me add one more function, a static function. It is trap. I need this for the front detector so that the player doesn't stop when it comes in contact with the trap. Control T and check blocking OBJs. Let's go into the function. And here I'm going to add one more condition. It is trap pass on the game object. Game object. And we want to check if the game object is a trap or not. Get to the root, root of the game object, and get component trap spikes and if that's null it's 
not a trap. Return false. Otherwise, it is a trap. I think I forgot to save the code here. Save. And I'm going to go back and play. Let me turn off AI. So I'm going to walk over to the trap. Here's the code and here's the list. Okay. So when we're at the center, when we're colliding with the collider, the players in the list, if I walk off, we're no longer in the list. Okay. Now we want to move the spikes. Let me check the height. Okay, so negative 0.4 is the retracted position. Let me try 0.4. Okay, so 0.4 is when the spike is up. Negative. Negative is when it's down. I'm going to change all the Y positions for the spikes. Negative 0.4. I'm going to go back to the code, to the trap spikes. I want to add an update. If the list of characters is not null, it's not zero. We want to go through the list and check if the characters in that list is still alive. We look at the damage detector, and if damage taken is zero, meaning the player is alive, we want to trigger the spikes. Let me create a coroutine. Spike trigger routine. In the beginning, this is null. And if it is null, we're going to start a routine. That routine is called trigger spikes. Trigger spikes. We also want to make sure that the spikes are in the default position before triggering them. So let me create a bull. Call it spikes reloaded. By default, they're ready, meaning the spikes are reloaded. So if there is no current routine and reloaded is true, then we trigger the spikes. After a certain time, after one seconds, for example, the routine is null again, and the spikes are reloaded. When we first trigger them, they're not reloaded. Let me add a log here. And make sure that this is working. Spikes are triggered. I'm going to go back and play and see if it works. Okay. So once you're on the trigger, the spikes get triggered. It takes one second for it to reload. And then it gets triggered again. Now I'm going to create another script for the spikes. I'll call it spike. Go in there. The usual namespace. And all the spikes are going to have the spike code. Select them all 
add component spike. I'm going to go back to the code spike and it's going to have a shoot function meaning the spikes are going to come up and kill the player and we're also going to have a retract function which is going to make the spikes go back to its original position and in the trap script when the spikes are triggered we want to go through all the spikes in the list we don't have a list yet of all the spikes so let me create a list of spikes okay in the beginning we're going to find all the spikes you got component in children get all the spikes and add them to the list start by clearing the list first just to be safe and now that we have the list once the player is on the trap we shoot the spikes wait for one second and then we track them we track Wait another second, and then now the trap is reloaded. Now we just got to define shoot and retract, F12. And let me create a slight delay for each spike. So once you get the function, first let's make sure that the spike is in the default position. If y is below zero, means it's retracted. So that's when we start the coroutine shoot. We're going to get a random delay somewhere between zero and maybe 0.25. wait for the delay and then the position of the sphere the local position let me add a certain number one seems to be fine based on the number that we just saw which was negative 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 and exactly the opposite for retract negative Oops. create the routine first retract and then copy paste negative and for the function, again, it's the opposite. If it's above zero, that's when we start the retract. Okay, let me look at the trap code one more time. So first we shoot, wait one second, retract, wait another second, and then reload. Okay, here it is in the condition. I'm going to go back and play, see if this works. Okay. So it looks like there is a slight delay, a randomized delay for each of the spikes. We're both retracting and shooting. Okay, if I stay on the trap, Okay, we don't have the death function yet. The trap just gets reloaded and shoots again. 
in about every two seconds. Okay, looks like this is working fine. In the next video, we're going to add the actual death when the trap gets triggered. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.